Star's universe has created friendships that have lasted for 40 plus years. I've fallen deeply, deeply in love with this man. So to capture that spirit and bring it to a conclusion has been such an amazing task. of the new featurette for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The countdown is on to one of the most hotly anticipated movies of the holiday season and we have one of the fiercest stars in the galaxy here with us this morning, Kelly Marie Tran. Thanks for being with us. All right, 10 days to go. So many people are counting. Some of your co-stars were here just a few weeks ago and at that point you all hadn't seen the movie yet. Has that changed? Yes, I've seen it. And? And it's amazing. <laughs> Were you surprised at all with how it ended? Yeah, I mean, I had read the script initially, but I there were definitely moments where Naomi, so it was Daisy and John, and then Naomi and myself, and we're all sitting next to each other, and there were definitely moments where we we're just like squeezing each other's hands like, this is crazy. Oh yeah. my God, and I'm, I am among them. So many people grew up watching Star Wars, huge fans. I hear that that wasn't the case for you. That's true. Yeah. You were not I a didn't fan grow growing up watching up. Star Wars. No. So Star Wars came out in the 70s. Yes. And my parents were they're war refugees from Vietnam, so they weren't like they were kind of struggling with some other stuff. <laughs> right. So it wasn't about watching movies no, at that they, point, right? No, they were definitely trying to survive. <laughs> and so and so when did you catch up? Um I I remember in high school, one of my history teachers showed us Star Wars in class. So that was kind of when I started watching it. And yeah. now look at you now. It, and it all started, by the way, with Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. And now there's even more Star Wars girl power. That's what I love about how this yeah. franchise has really evolved yeah. with the times. So yeah. from you to Daisy Ridley, Naomi Ackie, Carrie Russell, how does it feel to be a part of that type of female legacy? It feels really friggin' good. You know? <laughs> Time, I know? agree. I agree. And you know, and speaking of that, because with the good comes the bad. And last year, you were unfortunately um, dealing with the negative side of social media, which yeah. so many of us have have encountered. But you opened up about dealing with online harassment, and it was incredibly empowering. How are you feeling now about all of that? I feel great now. I've been to therapy. <laughs> you went to I therapy. Highly of, recommend because of the bullying online. Uh, yeah. Uh, and also just like the transition of what it was yeah. like. You know, I very much was someone working a day job, struggling to be an actor, and then suddenly was in Star Wars. I think that sort of transition takes a lot of emotional work, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm in a really good place now. I'm excited for this movie to come out. I'm excited to be working with J.J. Abrams. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> Your, um, your co-star Naomi is new to Star Wars, and I love this, about you opening up about what you were dealing yeah. with, going through therapy, all of that. Yeah. She says that you inspired her to grow a thicker skin. What can you share about those conversations you gave to her? Because I think there are a lot of people out there who would also love to benefit from what you've learned. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm such a huge fan of Naomi. She's incredible in this film. I cannot wait for you guys to see her, what, like, what she does. Um, but yeah, I think we met and immediately sort of hit it off and sort of talked about all of the struggles of being people who did not grow up in privileged backgrounds, um, very new to this industry, what that meant, what would be, we would be dealing with. And I think the biggest thing that sort of came from that was making sure that you don't become isolated or silent about the things that you're dealing with. I think whenever there's something that feels so heavy and scary, you can sort of clam up and close up. And I think that's the most dangerous thing. The best thing for me was looking outward and remembering that the world is bigger than myself yeah. and that experience. And then sharing it with each other. And now that's girl power yes, right there. That is. All right. Yes, that's Kelly Marie Tran, thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to watch you. And you can all see the final chapter of the saga Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker on December 20th.